Hello, and welcome to today's video, in which I will discuss fact checking. In recent years, a seemingly noble profession has emerged in the West, namely fact checking, where fact checkers check statements by politicians, journalists, and commentators to determine their accuracy so that the public, men, women, and children, is not fed with either misinformation or disinformation. On the surface, fact checking appears to be an essential cog, providing scrutiny and accountability concerning statements by public figures. However, on closer examination, fact checking is revealed to be yet another tool conceived, created and managed by the Western ruling elites to firstly, enhance the illusion that the West is a democracy. Secondly, to underpin fundamental objectives and policies of the Western ruling elites, both domestic and international. And thirdly, to silence dissent. There are two initial telltale signs about fact-checking organizations, which demonstrate that there is more than meets the eye to this profession. Firstly, fact checkers maintain close working relationships with mainstream journalists, which is extremely alarming given that mainstream media in the West is neither free nor independent, but is instead owned and controlled by the Western ruling elites. And secondly, numerous fact checking organizations are funded by companies, organizations, and individuals, which are at the very heart of the structure of power in the West, and which are wielded as weapons against Western and non-Western publics alike, to preserve and augment the power of the Western ruling elites. Donors include Facebook, Google, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and George Soros. That said, what ultimately reveals fact-checking to be a sham is the fact that fact-checkers never check statements by public figures which conform to key Western official narratives. I will now cite some examples of that. Firstly, Fact checkers never check statements by politicians, journalists and commentators which claim that women can have penises, that men can menstruate and that men can be pregnant. Secondly, fact checkers never check statements by politicians, journalists and commentators which deny COVID vaccine deaths and injuries. Thirdly, fact checkers never check statements by politicians, journalists and commentators, which assert that people, including non-whites, who oppose the Black Lives Matter movement, who oppose immigration and who are protective of their cultural and spiritual heritages, are white supremacists, neo-Nazis, and right-wing extremists. Fourthly, fact checkers never check statements by politicians, journalists, and commentators, which claim that the Russian military is committing war crimes and genocide in Ukraine. And fifthly, fact checkers never check statements by politicians, journalists, and commentators which say that the Syrian government waged a war against Syrian civilians, including using chemical weapons during the conflict in Syria. There are, of course, many other examples which can be cited to corroborate the irrefutable argument that fact-checking is nothing but a pretense, aimed at bolstering the illusion that the West is free and democratic, underpinning fundamental objectives and policies of the Western ruling elites, and quashing people 
who have different opinions. In conclusion, the fact check-in profession should be afforded the same disdain as is afforded to mainstream media. We know that appearances can be deceptive, and this is epitomized by the fact check-in profession. Finally, I will leave you with this question to mull over. Who checks the fact checkers? Thank you, as always, for listening to my words.